Hey guys, this is Josh Farley back with another video. Um, and in this video, I'm actually going to show you guys how to uh, save battery life and fix the uh, battery drain on Android 13, mainly on Google Pixel devices. Um, so let's actually get into this video. Um, I actually haven't been uh, making videos for a while um, because I've been going through some stuff. I've been trying to uh, better myself with uh, a better job and stuff, so I'm hoping to be making more content. Um, and stuff because I'm going to be off on weekends now. Um, I was actually working weekends at my old job, so I didn't really have much time, uh, you know, to myself. You know, I was off on like Tuesday and Wednesday, um, so I just wanted to mainly relax and stuff. So um, with this job, I'll actually be able to, you know, make more content and stuff um, since I'll be off on weekends and everything. And um, I'll uh, be making, you know, pretty good money and having better benefits. So I'm really excited you know, for my future, so, um, let's actually get into this video, though, uh, the first thing that you need to do is you need to open the settings here, and then you want to go to apps, and you want to go to see all apps, and what you want to do is you want to either search or, tr or try to find it by scrolling, uh, you want to search for device health services, and you want to click on that, and you want to go to, uh, storage and, uh, cache, and you want to go to, uh, clear cache, and then you want to go to manage space over here and you want to clear all data and then you want to reboot your phone um, so uh, after you do that uh, after you reboot your phone you want to go uh, to settings again and then you want to go to about phone I'm not going to go to about phone because I have my personal stuff in there like my phone number and my you know device ID and all that kind of stuff um, and what you want to go to about phone and you want to scroll down and you want to tap on build number five times until it says you're a developer and then you want to back out of that and come back to system and then you want to go down to developer options and then you want to uh, search for cache and it'll be right here it'll say suspend execution for cached apps and you want to click on that and then it'll take you to it um, and it'll either say device default or it'll say disabled um, you want to enable that and then it'll ask you to reboot your phone, so that'll be, you know, you'll be good after that. Um, so yeah, um, those are the two ways. Um, I actually found that first way on a YouTube video. I was actually looking, um, because my battery life was just terrible on my Google Pixel after I uh, updated Android 13. Um, and I was trying to find solutions. I was turning off 5G, I was turning off, you know, uh, you know app background stuff, and and everything I was turning off notifications I was you know trying to find everything you know that could uh, help save the battery life um, but yeah that really does work guys I, I uh, was wasn't even getting a full day of battery life before I had to put my phone on the charger before I did this um, before I did those two steps I had to uh, constantly charge my phone it was just taking chunks out of my battery life after I updated to Android 13 um, but these two methods definitely do fix it. I can get like a day and a half, um, sometimes more, um, if I keep battery saver, the default system battery saver on all the time, which I really recommend doing. Um, but yeah, I can show you guys how to do that too. Uh, you just go to settings here and then you go into the battery and then you go to battery saver um, and then you click on use battery saver. It's not going to let me turn it on because I'm plugged into a charger. Um, so um, you can also schedule it. Um, I, I recommend keeping it on all the time. Um, I don't really use extreme battery saver because that's, you know, just the pain. You can't really do anything with that. Um, it just gives you like a blank screen. It makes everything, you know, dark, so it saves a lot of battery, um, you know, but you can't really use your services like you can with just regular battery saver on. Um, I recommend, like I said, keeping it on at all times. It doesn't hurt anything. You still get notifications and everything, and uh, apps still work fluidly and everything so um, but yeah I recommend like I said keeping it on at all times uh, I, I recommend uh, I keep this off to turn off when charged I keep that off because I you know I um, you know it doesn't need to be on obviously when it's charging so I just keep that off um, but anyway um, yeah guys as I said um, you know, uh, that's basically how you, uh, you know, get your battery life back for the, uh, Google Pixel, um, or any other Android device running the Android 13. Um, and, you know, I still have my Google Pixel 6 here, 
Um, I'm not really planning on upgrading it, you know, anytime soon. I'll probably just keep it until, um, you know, it gets really slow or I, you know, want to upgrade to another Google Pixel. Um, but I, I just think that the Google uh, Pixel 7, you know, really didn't have much uh, more to offer. You know, I, I didn't I didn't really think that the Google Pixel 6a had much more to offer either. So um, I just decided to keep my Google Pixel 6 and, you know, I've been very happy with this phone. It's had great battery life. Um, you know, like I said, I can get like a day and a half, if not more, um, you know, now that I, you know, found this fix for the battery drain. Um, but anyway, yeah, guys, um, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, guys.